morning, Marcus Whitman. Today is Thursday, December 10th, 2020. It is a B-Day. I'm Christian Borshin, and here is your WCAT News. Here are this week's birthdays. Today, juniors John Boots and Everett Farrell. On Friday the 11th, senior Mackenzie Gross. On Saturday the 12th, senior Trinity Cotron and Ms. Griscoviak in the cafeteria. And on Sunday the 13th, Ms. Chase in the cafeteria. Happy birthday. Attention all athletes interested in indoor track. Our season is now scheduled to begin on Monday, January 4th. Please register on Family ID. Coach McLaughlin will be sending out information on our season very soon. Stop in to see him with any questions. Class of 2023, our online fundraiser shop is still open through tomorrow, so continue to share the link with family and friends and help us reach our goal. We are almost there. Freshmen, please check your class of 2024 Schoology page to complete a form on the opening on the upcoming fundraiser. Attention all high school students. Don't miss out on ordering your 2020-2021 yearbook. Just go to the MWCSD website, click on the schools tab, go to the high school, then all the way down on the left hand side column, click on yearbook. There's a link at the top of the page. Order yours today. A five-hour course will be offered on Monday and Tuesday, December 14th and 15th from 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. The course will be taught virtually and students must attend both days. The cost is $30. You must pre-register by the link in Schoology or picking a form up outside Mr. Prusinowski's classroom 511. Now here's a look at the weather with Earth Network's online weather center. Today, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny, highs in the lower 40s. Tomorrow will be partly sunny, highs in the upper 40s. The Marcus Woman Visual and Performing Arts presents a holiday virtual performance of One Christmas Eve at Evergreen Mall. The play follows eight intertwined stories in a Midwestern shopping mall on the day before Christmas. All assorted cast of characters navigate first meetings, second chances, and last minute choices as one Christmas Eve wraps the joys and sorrows of the season into one festive package. Information on purchasing tickets and the Google form link is on the High School Schoology page. Here's your eco tip of the day from Envirothon. Wrapping paper usually has a wax coating which makes it unable to be recycled. When wrapping your presents this year, try using old newspaper or brown packaging paper instead. And the next Envirothon meeting will be on Monday, December 14th. Join Whitman FFA by spreading kindness of the holiday season. Check out the calendar for ways you can show kindness to others throughout the month of December. Couples of the calendar are, copies of the calendar are available on the FFA bulletin board outside of High School 503. Please grab a copy and keep track of ways that you can um, have shown kindness also. Also, take note of some ways that others have shown kindness toward you. The FEA will be kicking off an activity in January that will continue the conversation of how we can all be kind to one another. Please, be, please continue to be kind and remember it takes one person to start the kindness chain. The entrepreneurs will be meeting on all the Mondays in December to finish the make and take project, wrap gifts and fill holiday orders for the Spirit Center. Please join us in room 344 during 10th period on Mondays. Attention all high schoolers. The student council is having a holiday spirit week. On Monday and Tuesday, freshmen wear white, sophomores are red, juniors are green, and seniors are red and white. On Wednesday and Thursday, everyone dresses like they are on vacation. On Friday and the following Monday, everyone wears flannel. Finally, Tuesday is pajama day. Additionally, there's a canned food drive this week. Please put your donations under the Christmas tree you like the best in the main hallway. All food donated will go to the Friendship House to Middlesex and the Gorm Pantry. Attention current National Honor Society students. Please be checking Schoology in your email this week for updates about our induction ceremony. Please complete your speeches and ceremony chores. Please see Ms. Mino if you have any questions. The Marcus Woman Girls Varsity Bowling Team started their season with a strong win over Penn Yan on Tuesday. The girls won 5-0. Kennedy Smith rolled the high series of the night with a 494. Zoelle Payne had the highest game with 201. Supporting the win were Destiny Brast, Chase Bond, Leah Aaron, Kendall Davis, and Michaela Baker. 
The boys' bowling team did not defeat Pena on Tuesday, but Don Mangiarelli did bowl the high game with a 235 and the high series with a 572. Here are this week's meetings and events. That's it for today, Wildcats. This has been Christian Horshing with your WCAT News. Here's today's FA 25 Days of Kindness. To pass on a positive quote. Have a great day, Marcus Whitman.